We're here to talk to you about something that I, I personally feel that this is important. I mean, we got to get this out there. Yeah. How many of you have Netflix? A lot of people have Netflix. I talk to people every day. Everyone has Netflix. Yeah, it's, it's an amazing service for what it offers. Um, and about a week ago... Yeah, did... Yeah, go ahead. Recommendations come up on your Netflix, and I got, I got one that said, Hey, Sticks, how about you watch Turbo Kid? Turbo Kid. And I had no idea what this was. Never heard of it. Never, obviously never seen it before. Um, and I didn't pay much attention to it. You had, uh, go ahead. Yeah, no. I, Turbo Kid needs to be seen. If you got an hour and 30 some minutes. Yeah, it's about an hour Not to waste, just to donate. Mm -hmm. Click on it. Yeah, absolutely. Watch, give it a watch. Um, it feels good. Yeah, we're gonna... Let me set the tone for what please, Turbo please Kid do. is. Okay? This is a nice little review. We're gonna watch it again. Mm -hmm. But what you get is, in the future, the Earth has been washed away due to acid rain. Mm -hmm. So, water is a very valuable, hard-to-find resource. The future being 1997 in this movie. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And it came out in 2015. Right. Now, two things. When you give this a shot, give it a keep an open mind. Have an op open mind. Yeah. Because our good friend Bo Tai Dan, mm -hmm. he said he tried to watch it, stopped after after a half hour, and I and I said, is it because of Apple? And when you meet Apple, you'll know who we're talking mm -hmm. about. And he said, yeah, I couldn't stand her acting. Spoiler alert. Should we, should I tell him about Apple? Yeah, sure, why not? She's a robot, she's okay? She's a robot. If, she, if you think she's not a great actor, it's because she's a, a robot. Mm -hmm. It's okay. That's awesome, because this, like this is a B movie, but had a pretty good budget, and it knows it's a B movie, and it rocked it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Another guy I work with, he thought it was from the 90s. It kind of gives off that vibe. I mean, definitely, like we said, it takes place in the future of 1997, so it's the future from the 80s, right? Totally. It's got a great soundtrack. It's right got a good in our wheelhouse. Feel. It's over-the-top gore. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take itself serious, but the, the focus is on this young kid, and he's just scavenging, mm -hmm. doing his thing. He meets a girl, and basically something happens to her. And he wants to rescue her. And yeah. he has an infatuation with this Turbo Man comic book character. And let's just say things get crazy and he may, might become Turbo Kid. May, well, the movie implies. I mean, I, I hope that they're not leading me down a false path here. Um, you also got a one-handed arm, one arm wrestler. Yeah. Uh, which I, I got a kick out of. Definitely. Um, and a whole other backstory going on uh, between him and his mom. Yes. In the movie. So There's uh, some layers to this. Yeah. So we'll give it another watch, um, just to get ourselves pumped up for the actual review, and we'll be back in a moment. I think we gotta do something, though. You feeling it? I'm, I'm Can't feeling contain. it. What do we got? A montage. We got a montage. <laughs> I love that movie. That's such a good movie. Um, Before we get into it, yeah. I gotta correct myself from the previous... I called him Turbo Kid. We weren't watching Jingle all the way. It's Turbo Rider. It's Turbo Rider. Turbo Man. I don't know what I called him. I wasn't thinking. I was no. so excited. Um, Still am. Yeah. Oh, I can't say enough about this movie. Not for everybody. But say some. But clearly for us, um, for people who... Uh, I don't know, just love the 80s. I wouldn't want to watch 90s. this with my mother or with your girl, yeah. my, my wife. Yeah, I would, and I wouldn't call my dad and be like, Hey, Dad, I saw this movie called Turbo Kid. You should watch it. Because my dad would just, he wouldn't understand. It. Have you, and I know you saw it, mm -hmm. Kung Fury? Yeah. It was an awesome 20, 30 minute movie. It's on Netflix. Yeah. Uh, it's 
over the top. I mean, right. And when I saw this, I thought, oh, and that's why I didn't watch it initially. I was like, well, they're just gonna like they're ripping off Kung Fury now. They're just gonna do another '80s type Kung Fury type movie. But this was a real movie, like hour and a half long, like you said. Yeah. And it felt like a, a movie. Like it had quality to it. You got the main bad guy, mm -hmm. right? But you got his second in command. Like, yeah. You remember Jack Nicholson's Joker in Bob? Bob, you're my number one guy. Yeah. His number one guy, the guy with that like Day of the Dead mask, yeah. the football pads. Yeah, the costume design. Was, he didn't say a word. Costume design was killer in this movie, too. So killer. Yeah. Great detail, but this second in command guy, mm -hmm. I couldn't get enough of him. I mean, he had like a saw blade that he could shoot at you. Yeah. I mean, Turbo Kid kind of reminded me of Mega Man. You know, how you could just. Yeah, yeah. And like, like you said, too, while we were watching it, awesome color in this movie. Lots of pops of color. I mean, like you think a, a post-apocalyptic wasteland, you think, well, everything's going to be gray and washed out. And it, no, there was reds and oranges and yellows and blues yeah. everywhere. Great color in the movie. I like that the main character was a tw like a 25-year-old kid, mm -hmm. you know, um, whereas like Mad Max, you know, you got a rugged dude who needs a shave. Yeah, but yeah. this kid was great. The, the attention for detail was awesome. Mm -hmm. I, and the color, like Apple, for example, I, I like that when... She showed how much life she had. It showed all the hearts. That's like total video game stuff. Like, yeah. if you like video games, mm -hmm. over the top, cheese ball, but hilarious cornball gore, this is for you. Yep. Like that scene where they, they, they took that guy and they wanted information from him, and they pulled his guts out and hooked it up to like a chain, and the other chain was attached to the bicycle. To a bicycle, and if yeah. they And if they rode, the wheel would pull all his guts out. Oh. Yeah, that was it was rough. I love the comedy. There's comedy in this. Yeah, they, like he gives up the information so fast. And, and the like, badass so, guy. Yeah, they're like, so you're gonna let me go, right? He's like, well, we went to all the trouble of rigging this up, so we might. We as gotta well see use what your it. guts look like. <laughs> yeah, and they, then they, yeah. And I don't know, just I wish I could buy this. Yeah, let's talk about that. Well, let's rewatchability. Obviously, we both have seen it Fun. twice now. Yeah, I. Um, and I, I mean. Rewatchability yeah. is is right here. I could almost watch this whenever someone said, "Hey, do you want to watch Turbo Kid?" Yep. What's special about it is the throwback factor made mm -hmm. in 2015. So as this film gets older, it's going to be like a fine wine. It's going to look great because it's intended to look the way it is. Yeah. I don't think it's like when I watch old episodes of the X Files and you see them pull out their cell phones or the computers they hack on. It mm -hmm. kind of makes you laugh because of how corny it is, and it's too bad. But right. this movie, you don't have to worry about it. No, because it's rooted in 1997, and so everything in it was already outdated when the movie was made. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, let's talk about what you would pay for it because that's something oh, man. we need to talk I'll about. Oh man, I'll tell you what. Um, um, I know packaging is a big deal, but I want to bore you with that. I would pay. Well, now that I've, it's on Netflix, I would probably pay. 14 or less i would pay full price for it if, if i found this for 20 bucks i would i would buy it probably probably even without a slip like i feel like i need to own this movie but the sad part of this story is i did i did i went to the internet and was like hey where can i own turbo kid yes this is a straight up cult classic before it mm -hmm. becomes i don't know you need to see it you guys yeah and i went like to your st to the standard websites like i went to amazon and I'm like yeah we got turbo kid we can sell you turbo kid for 39.95 not yet but soon enough yeah like, i'm not i'm not paying 40 bucks for any movie like that's outrageous yeah uh, but it's on netflix right now so if you got netflix it's free check it out and absolutely check it out and in last more than a half an hour don't pull out no go no. for it yeah i don't know this was a good time busy day for us today it was a busy day we got some stuff done today we did um so until next time yes Thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Um, leave a comment. Let us know, uh, are there any reviews you yeah. want to see? Tell us how awful we are. We can take it. We like, can take it. I'm sick of the, oh, you guys are great. This is funny. If we you suck, guys are let us know. We Tell know that, we speed, suck. that speed review sucks. Yeah. You know why? Because We had people watching us. Yeah. And, I mean, do us a favor and go watch the Martian <laughs> review again. <laughs> it was, and then you'll really think how great <laughs> things are getting. Yeah, we're leaps and bounds now. But, uh, yeah, it's only going to get better. Thanks for watching. Appreciate um, it. Other than that, we look forward to new things, new topics. We're going to broaden our horizons here. But uh, until then, let's get to work. Cookie crisp. <laughs>